once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. <coughs> Do not follow me, I said. Harder words I have never spoken. Some doors should never be reopened. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound. I believe I asked you first. Ugh. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? Ah, oh, they say she is beautiful, but I have never heard anyone claim she is capable of love. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinger Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. One month ago she visited our clan in the name of Friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. For almost two thousand years, the Dalish people have been wanderers. A shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My Keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost. Save perhaps to Morrigan. Help me. We both want Morrigan. And we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. <coughs> Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? Whatever reasons I may have to dislike this place and your people, I swear we are here only for research. As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, Things are much changed from when you were last here. Gregor is in Denerim, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. 
It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. I'm sure we can chat later. Have you heard the stories about the hero of Ferelden? Apparently he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nuts. I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Enchantment? Enchantment! Enchantment! Yes. Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Similar. The bindings are in the same style, but the script is different. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. You hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? Kirkwall? Dog in here. And what are you doing? Be careful. <sighs> All right, he could probably uh, eat my face, but don't you see what you're doing? You're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to fall out. Just thinking about it is making me dizzy. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old elvish for seeing glass. Mira. It's a 2,000-year-old dialect. She's right. The word is from the lost language of Arlathan, forgotten over eons of slavery. I only know a few dozen words of it, and I'm the Circle's linguist. Illuvian isn't just any Mira. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Solon thought Illuvian was a place. Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared. The other became deathly ill. They never found the one. And the other died. They left Ferelden, and traveled north to forget their sorrows. I've never read anything about the Illuvians making people ill. What... what became of the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn. Beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on.
<laughs> Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I am. Um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh, sorry for bothering you. Well, look at the way he's staring at me. Oh. Very well. It's your necks. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinter, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. Uh, hello? The, the shadow will consume all. Something is causing it distress. The tears in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house, yes, yes, we've been through that! Finn, greetings. Are you asking the statue if it's alright? It's a statue! So you'll talk to it, but it's strange to ask about its well-being? It's made of stone. Short of a hammer and chisel, nothing will hurt it. Stone eyes are no longer clouded. The darkness recedes for now. It's hard to get answers out of it. Requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. In theory, I haven't done much of it. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled, and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie, shielded from unworthy eyes. So you know of it. Convenient. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, no. Why do you think it said we wouldn't talk again? I... Oh, I'm not going to die, am I? Hello? Oh, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted. So we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. Morrigan is interested in the Illuvians. We find them, we find her. Let me come with you. I can help, please. 
I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? Ready to go when you are. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. Fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Tyke? Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a grey area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? <coughs> Four of us. You share the same blood as the Arlathan Elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Ah! My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. We have four lights of Arlathan. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven Ruins when you're ready. That ring. You play with it often. A ring is a significant gift. In human cultures, does that not mean... You put yourself in such danger just to find her. What will you do when you reach her? We'll find her. You have my word. The ancient Alluvian will be our key. I have finished. I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of Arlathan, we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. Here. We. Go! And so I shall. Oh, oh, am I bleeding? 
Oh, look, a ribbon in my robe. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. I've pinpointed another Alluvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient dragon bones could enhance the Alluvian's power. It might be hidden, or only appear to those who know its location. We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Alluvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? And it's glowing. We should... I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it, and you will not be able to follow. I did not think you had. Tell me. Why did you come? And you once argued with me that love is not weakness. I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. Yes, I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. He is safe, and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say even to you. I did not betray you. I left, just as I said I would. I fought with you. I put my life on the line to aid your quest. And then the battle came too soon. I had no choice but to go to you. And I did not want to see you die. And here you stand, alive. So do not speak to me of betrayal. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. And yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free.
What I want is... ...is unimportant now. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. You... ...cannot know what you ask. It would be better if you stayed. For you... ...for us both. Then come, my love. We will face the future together. Thank <laughs> you.